Hello class, welcome to a room 222 Photoshop tutorial. Today's project is the Content Fill and Awareness Project. It is a very simple one, and what we'll be doing is using the Content Aware slash Fill feature in Photoshop. Um, this one is a very simple project. It will not take you very long, depending on what it is that you choose to do. Um, but this is my example that you will be doing with me and then you will choo um, have a chance to do your own choice project. So as you can see, this is the original barn image. It has a tractor and it has one chimney stack to it. And then what I did was I removed the tractor and I added a second chimney stack with the shadow that is included with it to make it more realistic. And as you can see, I put it on a white canvas and added the original image and altered image text. And whenever you're finished, that's how I want you to save your projects for me so I can see the original and the altered. So let's open up Photoshop. We're going to go to File, Open, and we're going to find the Barn Photo, which is under Useful Tools, Photoshop Tools and Resources, Stock Photos, and Landscape. And it's Barn is your first one. What you're going to do first is you're going to make a duplicate image out of it. And to do that, you're going to do Control J. And then I'm going to get rid of the tractor first. For this, you can use the quick selection tool. I found that using the magnetic tool is actually pretty nice as well, the magnetic lasso tool. And you don't have to be exact because what you'll end up doing is using your clone stamp tool to fix anything that doesn't quite look very good. So I'm going to go around the image and again you could use the quick selection tool, you can use this magnetic lasso tool, anything works. And then at the very end you're going to see this little circle that indicates that you came full circle and it will create a selection. Now what I'm going to do next, and make sure this is done on your layer one, not on your background. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to click fill. And then there's going to be several options on here. You're going to select content aware. So that is taking information, taking pixels from the picture and filling them within the selection. And click OK. So there, it kind of took away the, well, it took away the tractor and kind of filled it with area that is similar to the picture. So I'm going to do Control-D. And now I'm going to f um, fix things up. So first, I'm going to go to the Clone Stamp tool. I'm just going to make it a little bit larger, and I'm going to take the uh, pattern from inside the barn and apply it to the side here. And again, to apply clone, you're going to hold down the Alt key and it creates a little target. You're going to click down, let go of the Alt key, and then click in the area you want it applied. You have to continuously go back and forth because it doesn't hold that pattern for very long. I'm going to fix the doors by making a very large target area and just taking this other door and applying it over here. And then I'm going to take some of the sidewalk area, so I'm going to make this smaller and then apply it to the bottom.
Okay, so we have now removed, successfully removed the tractor from the opening of the barn. And next I'm going to come up to the chimney stack. I'm going to use my lasso tool again. And I'm going to go around this chimney stack so that it makes a selection. This area up here since it's all relatively the same color, it doesn't have to be very exact. The sky still looks like a blue sky all the way around. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my move tool, and this will actually take this image and move it. Cut it and move it, which is why we have to have a duplicate layer. If this, here I'll show you what happens if I would make the background layer invisible. So we're going to move this down here. press enter and I'm going to do control D and now if we have gotten rid of or make invisible the background layer it takes that away so we have to have something behind it because it's taking away the top layer so that's why we duplicate it now I need to create this shadow effect so I'm going to again go to my clone stamp and make my target a little bit bigger and I'm actually going to hold, so I'm going to hold down Alt, uh, I'm going to drag, and then let go. And I'm going to hopefully create the same kind of effect down here. So now, I like what that looks like. So now if I control zero, just do zoom out it shows that there is no tractor and then a second smokestack for chimney stack for your barn. What I would like you to do with this then is you're going to go to file save as and just save it as barn redone under either your U drive folder or your Z drive folder so I'm going to save it to my Z drive folder. Save it as a JPEG say OK and I'm going to exit out. No, I do not want to save this as a or like save the changes to the JPEG. So I'm going to click no. Please make sure you click no. Then we're going to file new and we're going to the custom one 12 by 18 inches is fine. It doesn't really matter. You could do the US paper if you wanted to. That'll be fine. Click OK and it's going to give you a white canvas. You are then going to open both the barn and the redone barn images. You're going to pull both of them onto that untitled white canvas using the move tool. And once you do that, you can just get rid of that picture. You don't need that anymore. You're going to then take each of the images and resize them so I can see them. Please put the altered one at the bottom and put the original at the top. Press enter if you need to. It might make you do that before you can do anything else. Again, to hold proportion, if you hold down the shift key, that will keep your proportion sizes. So again, original is at the top, altered is at the bottom, and then you're going to add two texts. One is going to say original image, and it's going to be placed over top of the original image. And then to keep the same um, color and the same size of font and such, you could just do Control J and it'll duplicate it, Control T to move it down. And then if you double click on it, after you press enter, you can then just change it to saying altered image. Enter. You will then do file, save as, 
and you're going to save it under your finished projects folder under quarter three content fill awareness actually it should be called fill content aware and this one will be under barn mandatory and then you will also do a choice make sure you save it as your name as a JPEG and you are all set to go so again remember you have to do the barn image and then you get to do a choice I need to see the original and I need to see the altered on a white canvas if you have any questions please raise your hand off you go